Death is only the beginning of the end. But anyway, on with the video. Anyway, we're back with another Dust How Done video. Now, if you're wondering what happened last time, then... Uh... Killed, ran away, fought brother, flashback, more stuff, some other stuff, more stuff, some other stuff. Yeah, but I think that's all that happened in that. So anyway, let's get on with another chapter. I don't know who this man is, but it looks like he's seen some stuff. It always comes back to here, no matter what. Space invaders in here. Add for water. Please, can I have some water? You want a drink? Then buy one. <laughs> Your car break down or something? I just need a ride north. Well, I'm headed south. Try that, fella. Excuse me, are you headed north? How far? As far as you'll take me? Well, I don't like hitchhikers much, but I'll bite. Who are you running from? And what are you down to piss him off? Just traveling. I'm just going cross country. I want to see new places. Must have left in a rush if you didn't bother bringing a bag. I travel light. And I travel without passengers. <sighs> what if we throw for it? Three darts each? I win. You give me a ride. If I don't, I'll buy you a drink. Two drinks? Ah, uh, what the hell. I'm bored. I'm not good at darts. I don't even know how to play it. I just always go for the middle. 27. Your turn. Gang, don't make me do anything. Got started, gang. That's not even where I aim. All right. Mm, not bad. Oh. Played before. Ready for round two. Forty-seven. That game. I don't know what I did last time. I'm gonna. Okay. All I gotta do is hit the center. Forty-eight. 
What's that? 25? Hey, slow down, Robin Hood. I want my free drinks. Final round. Stakes are hot. Okay. the time resets. Oh no it does. <laughs> Did I win? You sharking me. I ain't got no patience for sharks. I have a dead eye. place that serves 18 year olds go for it i'll keep it busy all right thank you thank you have you seen him or not his people killed my partner he's going straight to death row you sure you're a cop you ain't dressed like me. i'm off duty this one's personal yeah well i ain't seen anyone how about you? Seen anyone underage tonight? Well, you look pretty, you know. Just answer the fucking question. Okay, let me think. Well, there's Shane at the bar. That big guy, Gene, who comes around for dinner. Kyle, wait a minute, maybe two. <laughs> Did you see a teenager or not? Nah, I see that, G. No. Actually, I could just call you anyway. Whew. I am amazing. truth. You kill all those cops, you blow up the school bus, all that shit from TV. I don't want trouble. Shit, kid. You are the trouble. So did you do it? Okay, listen. I was just there, but it wasn't me, okay? It wasn't me. No. It wasn't me. Too bad. For a second there, I almost liked you. Hey, what about my ride? It wasn't a fair bet. Gosh, darn. Good thing he did not do anything. 
Yes. Please state your name. Your steady partner. Tell her it's her study partner. Vanessa, I need help. Why? What's wrong? I'm in Utah. I don't have any money. I've barely slept. Whoa, slow down. Utah? Are you in some kind of trouble? Alright, I don't know what to really say here, but... I mean, I've kept up the line this long. Like, her dad's a cop. And, like... Alright, so to be on the safe side, I'm gonna say family troubles. I have this argument with my brother. He said, well, it don't matter. But I left. I ran away. Shit. Okay. Do you want me to call them for you? I can try to. No. It's too late. I'm on my own now. I've got nothing to eat, no money. Look. Things have been shitty here, too. My dad's convinced you were a drug dealer. He found an old bag of weed in my t-shirt drawer, and now I'm grounded for, like, half the summer. Seriously? I know. He's fucking crazy. Where are you now? Um, Salt Lake City. Near the... Uh, the Sabrina Hotel? Okay. I'll book you a room. You can order room service, take a nap, and later I'll call to check that you're... Vanessa? You know what? I'll meet you there. Wait, you... Don't you have finals? <sighs> Screw finals. I'd Bad. rather help a friend. Hmm. Is that safe or you're awesome? Yeah, let's go with that. Holy shit. You're awesome. Seriously. <laughs> That's what they tell me. I'll put the room under my name. See you soon. I probably want to say it's not safe, but then she would have been like, what do you mean by that? A whole bunch of ways I could have went. During this entire game, I'm just constantly lying through my teeth. fall off the wagon in style. What's got you so... <gasps> Hello? Who, who's there? Really? A paint roller? I mean, if this guy can hit his shots, then maybe. You broke in to my home. You left the window open. 
I know they made you come in. Bike blew a tire the first mile. I lost my sons. Been scrambling ever since. I just needed some place to rest. Take a shower. Get dressed. You're leaving now. What? Wait, Paul. Hey, Paul, what are you doing? That motel, it was the best thing that ever happened to me. And now you and your goddamn sons. What we've done is unforgivable. I know. Tell that to Joyce. She lost her home, her livelihood, everything she worked for. Good people died in there. I'm sorry. Truly sorry for what you and that poor family went through. You have to believe me. If I could turn back the clock... You didn't come here to apologize. I didn't know where else to go. Oh? How about home? Because you can't stay here. Are you crazy? They'll be watching the house. Yours is the last place anyone will look. Time was I used to dream of you showing up in my bed. But this... Christ. Look at me. I've been living like a damn stray, sleeping in ditches, eating from dumpsters. Last night, some hobo meth head tried to slice my belly with a box cutter. Are you hurt? Oh, Jesus. Is it bad? Let me see. Don't worry, I can handle it. Sharon, you're all over the news. Didn't say nothing about Tyler, though. You say you lost him? That damn bike. Cops were on our tails. He held him off. Told me to meet him at that old church out by Greenbell. Two nights I waited. Don't know where he is, but after what he saw them do to Dale. My beautiful Dale. He'll stay one step ahead. I know he will. Sorry. And Jay, he got away too, right? I don't know if he's got the strength to make it. I pray he does. For the love of God, please let him be okay. All this for a few thousand dollars. Just enough to stop those thugs killing us. All because of Bear Day. We both had dreams once, remember? I was gonna expand the bar, make it profitable. And what about that coast-to-coast -coast motorcycle trip you always said you were going to do? Is this how you saw your life turning out? I can't. Home. I'm happy. Until a few days ago, yes. Me and Marlon, we were doing just fine. If a cat is all you have, then you ain't happy. Hey, he's a great cat. You're lying to yourself, Paul. Even Marlon can see it. Why are you even here? Talking hypotheticals. You're a wanted woman. You gotta leave. Get out of town. You know, Bear always said he'd take me away from two rock. Dante loved me for a while, too. Sharon, back then, everyone loved you. You once told me I always choose the wrong guy. Well, I was young and stupid enough to think you'd listen. And I was young and stupid enough to think I knew better. Should have been with you from the start. What's it meant to be? It wouldn't have worked. Don't be so sure. You've always been a good friend. When those thugs showed up at our door, when I had no one else to turn to, you were the one who stepped up. Now, wait a minute. If you're talking about... You knew we were sinking. But coming up with the code to Dante's safe, 
That was it. If I'd known what would... Oh, Jesus, I'd never have given... Oh, God. Oh, hell. I think we could both use a drink. Don't you? Nah, this man spent two years. Nah. Every part of me is screaming, yes. But if I taste one sip of that... Paul, I'm so sorry. That was... Oh, I shouldn't know better. Look, nobody knows your part in this. And I swear, it'll stay that way. But, and I hate saying this. I need your help. Sounds ominous. Why does that set alarm bells ringing in my mind? Jeez, you never used to be this paranoid. Those bells are already ringing. We could both end up in jail without lifting another finger. But there's a way out for us. That book of his, I looked a bit closer. It's not just bribes. Dante has been taking money from criminals and funneling it into a single offshore account. The cash in his safe, that was just his cut. The real money's in a bank in Belize. And the details are right here. Oh. No name, no ID. All a person's gotta do is walk in, hand over the password, and walk out with the money. Can't be me. They catch one whiff of me and I'm locked up for life, but you. Then we expose Dante for what he is. Karma. Pay that. Call it what you like. And by the time his world crumbles, we'll be long gone. Look, you say us being together wasn't meant to be. But... I say this is our chance to change that. You can stay here in Two Rock and drink yourself into oblivion, or we can live together in paradise. You do realize if we do this, we disappear. You'll never be able to see your boys again. That doesn't mean I can't help them. At some point, I'll find a way. You threw me a lifeline once. Now it's my turn. Come with me. You know what? I take down Dante, and I may be able to help that other one. So you know what? But we gotta go with the positives here. Okay, cons. If this goes out wrong, she may die. I may get up in jail. And this entire thing goes nowhere. Positives. We do this. Take down Dante. Gets the money. Helps the guys. And live off in paradise. So, I need I need to do this exactly right. I failed at robbing a house, but taking down somebody that could work. That that could work. You know what? High risk, high reward. Let's get it. Oh, shoot. You got a hide. Okay. Fancy seeing you here. That's Rex. Hey, cool outfit. Oh, yeah, right. I was so busy packing for the road that I forgot what I was wearing. Can I come in? Huh? <sighs> I thought you wanted to sleep. I didn't want them to have to make the bed. 
I took $200 from my dad's emergency fund. I also brought you a change of clothes. And tomorrow morning, I can drive you to the bus station and get you a ticket to wherever you want. And then we're even, okay? Even? You don't owe me anything. Oh, didn't I tell you? I'm pretty sure I aced my history final. <laughs> ah. I don't deserve this. I... Nobody's ever done something like this for me. I don't deserve it. Of course you do. Why? Look, we're doing something I believe we dreamed about. Running away from everything. So, if I can help you somehow, what's wrong? It's just, if you hadn't come, I'd have nobody now. You sure you can't go back to your family? Your mom must be worried. I am positive. She ain't my mom. And my brothers ain't my brothers. They told me the night I met you. I didn't ask who my real parents were. Oh, Dean. That must feel terrible. I should have asked. I feel lost. I just don't even know who I am anymore. I wish they hadn't told me. Except then, you'd be living a lie. Maybe from now on, family isn't the people you were born with. Maybe it's the people you choose. I saw that on a t-shirt. I believe Dodd's Street would say so. Mm -hmm. That's not your room. Don't call it. My daughter Oh my god. How did he find me? Dad? What are you doing? Who else is here? Did you fucking follow me? How did you- You think I don't get a fraud alert when someone uses my card out of state? Now, answer the question. What are you doing in the Salt Lake City Hotel? It's none of your business. Vanessa, do you want to turn out like your brother? Living a secret life, lying all the time, until some cold morning you're wheeled into a morgue? Oh, sure, let's blame him for his death. He was hit by a drunk driver. At four in the morning, with enough shit in his system to kill him. You know what? I'm not doing this. You're coming home, and that's that. Well, can I at least pee first? Oh, do what you have to.
the circle parts were different. I'm not gonna lie. Protected lands than all 50 states combined, remember? I can fish, hike, live in the forest. The only thing is, how to get in. My brother had a friend who moved to Idaho Falls. I bet he'd help us with gas money. Plus, he's really good with fake IDs. Idaho? That's a long way for you. I've got all we can. We can stop in town for some clothes and call Todd from the payphone. Probably were. He must care about you if he came all this way. No. He wants to be in control. He thinks I have the same shitty judgment my brother did. Do you? I'm doing this, aren't I? I'll tell you one thing. He must be flipping his fucking lid right now. His little girl stealing a car. What's the worst thing you've ever done in your life? I told her I'll wait. Lie about myself? To someone I like? And what was the lie? It doesn't matter. Who did you lie to? I said it doesn't matter. Well, just don't ever lie to me.
Say nothing. He'll go away. I know you're in there. Go! See your damn car outside, Paul. Hi. Come on, get your shit together. Coming in. Oh, shoot. Sorry. Hi. I, uh, this is the kitty bike out front. Yeah. Just fixing it up for Joyce's kid. Not much, but after what he's been through. Right. Oh. I look a little flushed. Got some of your stuff they say from the fire. Tools and whatnot. I thought you might need them. Uh, thanks. Jeez. It's darker than a dungeon in here. Look, uh, didn't mean for that to become such a clusterfuck. Wait, did she take a book with her? Holtz opened a big can of worms when they stole from me. If I don't get everything back, I'm just as screwed as they are. So, you got any uh, plans now that the motel's gone? Or are you just gonna shut yourself away forever like Grandma did? Yeah, find a job. Find a find a job, something different. Yeah, gardening maybe. Change a career, sure. You know I was almost an analyst for the FBI. Fucking desk job. <laughs> Imagine it. Uh, seems like a lifetime ago. Yeah. Oh, look at this little man eater. If my uncle Cleves gets a whiff of you, oh boy, me will be in the doghouse, huh? Well, you look like I feel. <laughs> uh, but we could both use a coffee, right? Mm -hmm. Sit down. I get it. When I first joined the department, Sheriff Wilson assigned me coffee duty. <laughs> Had to make a pot every morning. Oh, that guy was fucking picky. about making a difference but being a good guy ain't always so simple because when you got some crazy asshole you can't tell if he's holding a bible or a gun what do you do in the motel that night. Did it even cross your mind to ask about me? If you mean that I think it was a good idea to remind three bloodthirsty bastards that they were holding the sheriff's own cousin hostage, then frankly, no. I did not. You, uh, sure you're okay? You look a little jumpy there. Sorry. Wasn't expecting company. Yeah. Uh, guess not. told me you were at the station earlier. Wait, what? Talking to those fellas from the DA's office. Just, you know, asking what I could remember about uh, about the motel and all that stuff with, uh, with the bus. They wanted your opinion on whether I'd lost my damn mind, didn't they? It was a lot of questions. I can't... Uh -huh. And what was your professional opinion? You ended the standoff. 
I said you did what you had to do. I did what any cop would do. Protect lives. I made a tactical decision. Those bastards were about to head to Mexico with a bus full of hostages. I fucking did something. And what did I get for it? Electrocuted in a damn bathroom. Hey, you trying to electrocute me? Now the whole thing's turned into a pissing match over jurisdiction. Goddamn FBI involved. Even Becky hates my guts. Give those whole boys their blessing when they broke into my house. You know that? Oh. Yeah, I'll do my best by her, but I guess it'll never be enough. Hmm? You smoke menthols? Uh, trying to quit. You know how hard it is, though. Yeah, I am. Once you let a bad thing get its hooks into you, it'll never let go. God, star cat! I think they'll rat me! Say, I never thanked you for getting me a discount on that office safe. Huh? It's the same model they put in the rooms at the motel, right? That's right. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> After those whole boys broke in, I, uh, I found a slip of paper with some numbers on it. Now, how do you think they know about that factory override? Ah! Think the smartest thing I can do is say, uh, you wrote it down. Maybe you wrote it down somewhere and, and someone got a hold of it. Oh, somebody definitely wrote it down. And I got a good idea who. Yeah, but one thing's for sure. We're ever sharing all of this. She ain't sipping margaritas in some tropical beach. I don't think she got too far at all. I you know, I forgot how close you two used to be. I hate you, sir. Ooh. I see this we're family. I'm gonna make this real easy for you. Where is she? Long gone. I, I mean, she was here, but but uh, she, she, she she wanted money. I I, I refused, obviously. I should have gone to you, but then she said that if, if she got caught, she'd blame me. Say I was helping her. Son of a bitch. It was you. You gave me the call. No, listen, Dante, I, I, I can... I... Don't warn. Yeah. No warning. Why would it warn? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> That's why. Yeah, you better know. you've done you and me both know that's not why you're taking me in no no -uh. don't even start down that road paul come with me it's not too late gave me that safe the same model you put in the motel rooms gave me the factory code where's my book you have it i know you do and you ain't getting it Finished. Don't worry. I'll make sure all the major newspapers get a copy as soon as I've emptied the account. These people, you don't know who you're dealing with. Don't you understand? It's not my money! Oh, how could you do this to me? Man, you deserve it, though. I know where that money comes from. Sharon told me everything. Half of it. If you take her side over mine, your own blood. I know she made you do this, Paul. Look, I'm giving you a get out of jail card here. I'll give me a gun. See, my recent history giving. After Nam, I swore I'd never hold one again. And you know that. Don't give me that flower power crap. Just give me the gun. 
We could be free together. You can do this. I know you can. I'm not giving him the gun. I'm not giving him the gun. Turn off the TV. 
I mean, at least it's a good thing everyone's on the trouble, so I'm not gonna just be looking at it. Person expected to show up asking for it for a bit. Wait outside. Look, will you help me or not? What do we do for it? Oh man, you are so freaking tall from down here. What are you looking at? Dean, what are you doing? You know this guy? So what if I do? I'm her boyfriend. I'm her boyfriend? Who are you? You brought your boyfriend to my house? Dean, please. I'm alright. Buddy. She's asking you to leave. Sorry if that hurt your feelings or something, but it's what she wants. You get sport. Can't run home. Got, got thing logical here. And I'm not gonna like it. I'll be at the car. I feel like this is a beta mill right now. <laughs> It was like, I really wanted him, and that's only going to cause problems down the line. <sighs> Snap and word. I wish you told me the truth. Maybe I should have. Look, I saw a campsite off the highway. I still feel pretty good. How about we go have our own after party? Yeah. All right. Me, me too. Something, ain't it? 
He doesn't have a black glass piece. You're not like the guys at school. You're football players, mathletes, the future farmers of America. You're different. I don't know. You're real somehow. Not trying to be. I don't know what it is, but when I look at you, I, I just feel happy, safe. I trust you, Dean. Ow. I know for a fact it's going to come up later or sooner in this game. <sighs> if I keep lying to her, she's going to find out eventually. So now, I think it's going to hurt her. It's going to put me in jeopardy. She may, got, she may go back to her dad or something, but... I gotta tell the truth. I don't want to, but I feel that it's the best thing to do. Alright, so. <sighs> Look, I need to tell you something. My name's not Dean, it's Jay. Okay. And. I didn't run away from my family. They made me do something bad. I... I helped them rob Sheriff Romero's house. I didn't know that until we got there. But Sheriff came home. We ran. Got holed up at this motel on Route 66. Oh, one of them. The family from the news. I didn't want to be there. It wasn't my idea. But the cops don't care about that. They're blaming me for all of it. Uh. Are you angry? It's... It's just a what? Why did you tell me? Like you said, you trust me. And I trust you too. More than I trust anyone. Let's go. Sorry. I, I don't know why I did that. Nah. Nah. Let's get it. Don't be sorry. I do. Of course I do. But are you sure? You're gonna learn something. I can be really stubborn. Okay. Then let's go to Canada. 
then let's go to Canada. So, Jay, huh? Yeah, like a blue jay. That's nice. What's your last name? Holt. Holtz have been in Turok over 150 years. Sounds like you're proud to be part of that. Ready to let's go. I was. But that's over now. It's like you said. I make my own choices from here on out. Now, I'm finally free. Ah, my values. For once, for once, my 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 two things finally changed this time: values and traits. Love. Cares for others and acts with empathy. Yeah, I de deter determined. Refuses to give up or let things go. And as usual, I got that fast reflex. I'm not gonna lie, that car thing kind of me almost messed me up. But hey, we're still doing good. And now, let's see the difference between him and other people made. Okay. On the run. Beat. B trunk or darts? Only 51%. Okay. Okay. The depth it corner and enter the bar. I don't understand how people were not going to be able to do that, but it's quite easy. Escape the bar. I don't see how people did not escape the bar. 51%? Lie to the trucker. Like, come on now. I can't just tell you. Stole a ride to Utah. Vanessa arrived at the hotel. Okay. 83% escaped. Alright, good, 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 good. We're doing good, we're doing good. Only 64%, only 64% people refused. Alright, well, I'm, well, shoot, I'm thinking with a clear head. Vanessa found. Walked. Walked away, okay. Way by the car. So there's a bunch of other outcomes how that could have ended. I chose smartest one. Ditch party with Nessa. Reveal. <laughs> only 36 percent. Only 36 percent people did that. Like I was thinking, like obviously, it was gonna pop up eventually. So I just say, you know what? Gotta go for it. And boom. That's a kiss. Kiss back. Agreed to agree to Canada. Even if I would've Okay, okay. Rejected. Rejected being a hope. Vanessa stays as Ah. I see most people chose friends. See, I might regret that later, but for right now, we're, we're gonna be happy. And what's going on with Opal? Okay, the safe code. Stay sober. All right, nice, nice, nice. Kiss Sharon. All right. Dante came. Hit the hit. Hit the two glasses. Okay, smart, smart. Dante notice the cigarettes. I mean, he was either gonna notice the two vodka glasses or the cigarettes. Like, come on now. Dante got suspicious. Lied to protect Sharon. Let Sharon attack Dante. Okay. Dante stabbed by Sharon. Okay. Help Vanessa. Okay, okay, okay. 
Hit Dante with the coffee jug. Ran to, ran to the car. Got a ray running. Escape with Sharon. And there was also this other option which it could have helped him, but nah. Pass point fire turn. Let's take, this, let's take this man's down. And that was Dust as Dawn. This has been another Dust, Dust by Dawn video. Um, it was quite interesting. Uh, everything went surprisingly good. Uh, the images of uh, Vince's daughter and wife and, uh, are now glued to my head. So that's fun. But anyway, this has been our video. Ooh, ooh, love, peace, and bye.